just one arm. Just make sure, because the tension is so intense, make sure that you're keeping your body nice and stable and let the muscle do all the work. Of course, you can always lighten it up if you have to. Chest press, double arms. Squeeze your chest as you press. Decline is all about the lower chest. Next one in your standing rolls. Okay, I like to stagger my feet and you're pulling it right back. Gives you a different perspective, different angle of your back muscles. So lat pull down, you're basically working the big muscles in your back, okay? Just squeeze on the bottom, squeeze your back on the bottom. So your good mornings, um, it's a great exercise because it's hitting your lower back, okay? The way this will work is you're hinging from your hips and when you stand up, you squeeze your lower back, okay? Nice control. Strengthen up that lower back muscle. variation from the one that I did laying down, okay? But we're doing both that way. No stone is left on turn. Let's go. Strong back, baby. Really squeeze that back. Strong and hard back. Well done. All right, get the band, pull them up, let it down, and up. Okay. Here's a different angle. Of course, you want to do both sides. Back nice and straight. You're working all of your hip flexors, your thighs, and your core as well. Uh, 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 uh. Work those hip flexors, get all of your leg muscles strong. That's the beauty of using these resistance bands. Keep 
your, your weight stays on your heel. So when you squat down, don't go to the front, okay? Shift your weight back and that's gonna force you to use your butt, your hamstrings, and your quads. So hip extension, you're pulling away, okay? Now as you pull, you want your hip to do all the work, okay? Keep your foot nice and flat, okay? If the weight is too heavy, you can lighten up, but your hips are the foundation for everything you do. Plus, you look good whatever you wear. Okay? Always both sides. Make sure the bands are even. Start from the side of the body. Use your hands under your butt to support your back, okay? Full extension, pull and tuck, four. Overhead crunches, 
Let's stack our legs, okay? Make sure that you keep your arms straight, folding overhead, okay? Now when you crunch, you're crunching from your stomach and not your arms, okay? That part is really, really important if you wanna keep constant tension on your abs, okay? Come on. your arms overhead naturally it creates tension because you have that band that you have to stop from pulling you back okay and your abs are gonna help you to do that okay keep that overhead move your legs up all at once okay let's go breathe don't hold your breath use your own body weight and this is all you're doing okay now challenge yourself don't let your heels touch the floor, okay? So when you get up here, let me show you from this angle, 45 degree angle. So when you tip up, don't let your heels rest because that's taking the tension off the calf muscle. Tip up, come down to about there. And again, you're working all of your small muscles along with the big part of your calf, okay? You get more out of it that way. Let's go. Well done. the elbow elevated, pull it as far in as you can. Separation, but it gives you a full thick look to your bicep okay it's gonna make your bicep bigger for sure uh, big biceps let's go uh, big biceps and striations
keep your elbows tucked in. Make sure you're keeping your elbows tucked and locked by the side of your body. Well done.